All right, what's going on, guys? Moxification here. So today, uh, I'm gonna remake a video that I made a while ago. I'm not sure how long ago I made this video, but the reason I'm remaking it is because there's a few things that I forgot to put into the video that I didn't even know that I had to put in, and uh, just recently I discovered those things, and so I, you know, I wanna kind of redo the video. So uh, this video is actually for the people who have either just got a J tag or you know RGH, um, or people who just uh, maybe they've had it for a while, but they're not 100% sure how to do certain things um, And this is going to be one of the things that I wanted to remake So uh, there's a lot of ways that you can install games to, you know, your JTAG or RGH You know, you can uh, download them from the internet, which is one thing that I definitely don't do um, You can use a disc, um, and then when you've got a disc, you know, there's multiple ways of doing it You can do it through neighborhood, you can do it through... Um, freestyle dashboard or xcx menu and for me i do it from neighborhood because for me it's the most simple easy way i can do it and then you also get a backup of the game when you do it you know especially if you've got you know um a lot of hard drive space on your computer it's it's really helpful to uh, do it the way that i do it um for you it might not be um there are other ways of doing it but for me i use neighborhood and so i'm going to show you my way the way that i install all of my games and i'm gonna put in the bit that i totally forgot about um so uh yeah i guess we'll get into it so right now um i'm on my xbox my xbox is turned on and i'm actually using uh, a load of plugins i'm using you know jrpc xrpc uh, the purge menu and offline files you know so uh, there's there's a few things that you've got to do before you actually before you actually install anything so what you want to have is number one this is the one thing you need to do first get uh get neighborhood set up xbox 360 neighborhood or xdk um and you can go to the description if you don't have xdk or neighborhood set up all you want to do is go into the description there'll be a video in the description of how to set it up and so if you don't have it set up then this is you know how you can do it so uh yeah go to the description if you don't have it set up if you do have neighborhood set up then you know you can just follow the rest of the tutorial so uh yeah i guess we'll get into it so uh what you want to do is start off by opening up uh, opening up neighborhood uh, you want to go into the jtag you want to go into the arita hard drive emulation uh then you want to uh you want to scroll down to your launch the ini uh, you want to get that drag it to the desktop uh you want to open up the launch the ini and you want to scroll down until you find the plugins um which are here um then you want to remove all of the plugins apart from XPDM. So you want to just have every single plugin removed apart from XPDM. The only one you want to have is XPDM. This is the part that I forgot about. Well, I didn't even know about it. It worked for me at the time. Um, now it doesn't work. And I'll, I'll explain why it doesn't work um, if you keep all the plugins as we go um, into the video. Uh, but I discovered this. Uh, I discovered this probably. Um, possibly a few weeks ago um maybe uh, actually it wasn't even too a few weeks ago it was probably about a week ago maybe and i was i was uh showing a friend you know how to do this how to install uh, discs to the hard drive how to uh, how to install discs or games to the jtag or rgh and it didn't work for me but it did work for him and i didn't know why so i tried you know he, he didn't have all the plugins he only had xpdm he didn't have anything else and uh, it didn't work for me when i did it and so i had a test i've tested a few different things and when i removed all of the plugins it worked so that's the bit that i wanted to add in so uh, yeah so you, you want to save it so make sure you've only got xpdm there which you know xpdm makes neighborhood work so you want to save it exit and you want to put the launch the ini back on the root of the hard drive so yeah there you go and then all you want to do is reboot the console so i'm going to turn the console off i know you can't see anything right now but i have turned my uh, jtag off uh, so we'll see um so now i will put the turn the console back on so hopefully it comes on pretty soon but uh, i mean it doesn't have to come on so now i can i think i'll I think I'll delete this because I can get it back off the console, you know. Um, but yeah, so here we go. So I'm just waiting for the console to come back on. So you want, what you want to do is you want to get your game. So I'm going to get my game. I'm not sure what game to do. I think we'll do... We will do BO2. Black Ops 2. That's the game we're going to do. So I'm going to get BO2. Uh, I'm going to get the... I actually recently got a new copy of B, uh, BO2. I actually got a new game of BO2. Uh, the reason I got a new game of BO2 
is purely because my game I had on my hard drive at uh well before was actually it was a bit dodgy. I used to get blurry screens and weird problems and you know not good stuff happening. And so I decided to get one on Amazon. Um, and it was it was quite cheap actually. I, I forgot what the price was. I think it was like nine pound. I could be wrong. Maybe it's fifteen. But it was you know cheap for BO2. You know, so uh, I got a BO2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get the game. I'm gonna take it out of the disc and um, the disc thing of the case, I guess. Uh, and I'm gonna put that uh, into the hard drive. Oh, not into the hard drive. Into the uh, into the disc drive. I'm just gonna open up the capture card so you can see what's going on it won't be the best quality but I mean it doesn't really need to be all you need to do is see what's going on on my screen I mean you don't really need to see it but it's uh, it's a good thing to do so yeah so uh, I will move this uh, down here so you can see what's going on uh, but yeah so what you want to do is you want to get the game you want to put that into the uh, JTAG now there's one thing that I've noticed about JTAGs and it's something that's you know it, it happens sometimes from time to time when you press the uh, eject eject button it doesn't come out straight away and so you just got to do it a couple of times and mess with it and like either uh, do it once do it twice then just kind of mess with it and eventually you'll get the dish tray to come out i'm not sure why it does it i'm not sure why it doesn't open but uh you know it's just a thing that happens it's just how it is so yeah mine just uh, opened i'm gonna put the disc back in uh, so yeah uh, once the disc is in and it's like you can hear it spinning you can hear it loading up and you know it makes a noise it's kind of like a a click in like thump noise type of thing and it kind of rumbles a bit um, once you can hear that I just heard that you can open up neighborhood again so in neighborhood if you go into the uh, JTAG uh, yeah here we go um, you'll see you have uh, active title media is a game which is uh, what game you're playing right now um, you want to look for volume DVD so that's that's the if you don't have that uh, it means the game wasn't uh, read or it wasn't um, you know it hasn't been recognized that there's a game in the disc tray so maybe maybe unplug it clean it you, you should uh, not unplug it you know eject from the disc tray uh, clean it uh, put it back in maybe even launch the game if you can um, and if you just refresh the page like that um, you know the page or exit our neighborhood reopen neighborhood uh, it should be there and so yeah it'll be called volume DVD so what you want to do is you want to go into volume DVD and by the way it's volume and then there's like brackets DVD you want to go into that one and you'll see the game so this is the game um, if you see uh, for example let's say it's let's say it's BO2 for example which this is BO2 if you see um, I think it's audio and video like underscore something I've forgotten what it's called but it's like audio and video and there's some other little files there's only a few files there's only I think like four files or five files if you see that that means the game hasn't been recognized or it hasn't been um, it, it it's probably it's probably because the game is scratched and it just can't read it and it's just it's just what it does you know if it can't read it or if you're using a uh, console that is like uh, from a different country and you're using a, dif a different disc for a different country and it's you know to do with like regions and stuff um, but yeah so if you see the actual contents of the game um, you should probably know the game but if you don't know the game uh, all you want to do is scroll down until you find something like a default to load the game which is uh, for this one you've got a default MP and a default .xex um, and everything should be good this is the game uh, what you want to do is you want to select all of it so to select all of it you could just you know drag and uh, go all the way down um, or you can do control a and that will select all of them you know control with you know on the keyboard and then a that will select all of it but I'm just gonna do it like this so you can see what's going on uh, it might be a bit laggy it might be, might be a bit glitchy it might um, you know kind of look like it's crashed but it probably hasn't uh, so yeah, uh, I just make sure that I've got all of that by doing Control A. There you go, got all of it. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make a folder on your desktop. It doesn't have to be on the desktop. It can be uh, in your documents, but you want to put it in a uh, in a place where you know where it's going to be. So uh, that's my desktop because my desktop is pretty free. Uh, it's pretty clean. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do Bo Bo Two and then New, so I know it's the new one so now all you want to do is uh, drag it and drop it into that folder or wherever you know wherever that folder is um, so uh, yeah so this takes a long time this can take from uh, by the way it, it might say from time to time that it's crashed it might say it's not responding don't worry about that 
um, it you know maybe it will uh, freeze and it will mess up don't worry about it it's all good as long as it says you know right now it says about 40 minutes remaining it does take a long time it takes about 40 minutes both ways because uh, how it works is you, you know we'll get into it in the you know the, the video I'll, I'll explain it as we go along so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to stop recording here and then you know I'll come back once once it's done you know um, I think I've actually already got a copy so I don't think I even need to I, I think I can just delete this and go get a different copy but you know don't worry about that uh, so yeah so I'll see you uh, in a minute I guess once it's done okay so now we're back so now I've got bo2 um, on my desktop I've got all of the files and there's quite a lot of files there's you know a good a, a very good amount a very big amount so uh, once you've got all of them um, all you want to do is uh, simply just put them back on the console so to do that what you want to do is you want to uh, locate uh, I believe we was uh, we was at the volume DVD before all you want to do is go into the retail hard drive emulation uh, you want to scroll down to where you find games so my games is here if you don't have a games folder I suggest you make one it's just helpful to have you know have all the games in one place have all of the accessories in one place you know and just have certain things in different places and so you'll be able to find things better you know um, so once you're in the games uh, you can make a new folder if you want you can drag the existing folder from the desktop on if you want um, or you can find an existing one you know um, so I'm gonna I guess I'll drag yeah I guess we'll just drag it across then uh, so yeah so I'll drag it across um, so what you want to do is um, you probably want to make a backup of the the BO2 um, you don't have to make a backup of it it's not 100% needed uh, it's just something that I would do personally now this is going to take a long time this is going to take about 40 minutes um, so I've actually already got it on my uh, on my hard drive and it's the exact same game it's the exact same everything it, I just I've already done it so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna cancel it but you, all you'd want to do is wait for it to be done wait for it to be good I'm just gonna delete this as well because I've as I said I've already got it this is it right here it's, it's called black ops 2 um, and it was just you know that was just for show so you know what to do and so once it's all transferred once it's you know it it would take a long time it would take about it would probably take about 40 minutes I guess uh, depending on the game bo2 probably about 40 minutes cod 4 a bit less you know mw2 bit more not sure but it, it could be a long time but yeah so as i said you probably just want to make a backup of the bo2 uh, if you haven't got a lot of space on your uh, computer's hard drive maybe put it on a usb uh, bo2 is only like 7 gig and there's a lot of usbs that are 16 gig 32 gig and even more you know so maybe just make a just make a backup maybe stick it on a, a different partition of your hard drive but let it sit somewhere don't touch it don't mess with it and maybe you know in the future you might be messing around with mods and then maybe you might delete something by accident and the game won't work and then you'll have a backup of it and so uh, you could just reinstall it you could just redo this whole tutorial to do it but you know maybe maybe you just want to have a quick little fix uh, waiting somewhere on a hard drive somewhere and it will be fixed quick you know so uh, yeah so uh, once you've done everything once you've you know like I said once you've got it on the hard drive I I've already done it i'd already put it on um you want to eject the disk trace you, as you can see you've already got bo2 in there i'm going to eject it and then i'll put the disk back in the case uh, i just need to find the case yeah i've got it right here i'm just going to put it back in the case now uh there you go here we go so now um if you launch the game you know we had the folder so that's the folder right there uh, BO, uh, black ops 2 um, now, all you want to do is scroll down to the uh, default, which should be right here. Uh, if it's if it's GTA, uh, there'll only be one. Uh, it's just default.xex. The MP, the difference between the two is essentially the default.xex is when you launch the game normally, and then the default underscore MP.xex is multiplayer of the game. So if the game already has multiplayer, but you get to multiplayer from one way, like for example, let's say you join someone's session on MW2, it automatically puts you on multiplayer instead of going through the campaign, whereas on GTA it puts you through the campaign to get to multiplayer, and that's just the easiest way of explaining it. So if we launch the game uh, right click launch could just double click it but you know right click launch it launches it um, and just to say there is about a two second delay on the whole punch capture but hopefully you get the gist so now I just launched the default underscore MP dot XGX and that launched BO2 and now I'm on BO2 and so you know if you want to mod the game mod the game uh, you've got all of the game files so you can you know do basically anything uh, but yeah so 
I'm on BO2. I, I launched it from the uh, the default XEX as well, just to show you that uh, show you that the it loads from the you know the actual game itself, uh, the actual the start of the game instead of the multiplayer of the game. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's doing the intro thing, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple. You know, it's not it's not difficult at all. It's really simple. Um, and there are other ways of installing games. There are other ways you can use uh, XEX menu, which is kind of like this method, but this method is a lot longer than all of them. But you do get a backup of the game. Um, you can use Freestyle Dash. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Freestyle Dash, but you know, maybe in the future I'll make a Freestyle Dashboard tutorial on how to install games. And uh, also with uh, GTA. Um, obviously, GTA is a two-disc game. Um, GTA is pretty simple. Um, all you would do is install the first disc, you know, like the installation disc, normally, like totally normal, and then just do what I've just done with BO2 for the second disc. And so it's pretty simple like that. And it's the same with a three-disc game. I'm not sure how many of them there are, but it's, you know, uh, the two installation discs you would install, you know, normally, and then the final one the actual game you would just play like you would do like this um so yeah so it's pretty simple um i i'm not sure where you could download games if you you know wanted to download games uh, i'm not personally into that but i'm sure people will you know put links in the uh, in the comment section and whatever and if you have any problems just comment them and you know i mean i'm sure i'll be able to help and i'm sure that the other people of uh you know the youtubers will be able to help as well so yeah so that's about it um, thanks for watching, I guess, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yeah, goodbye.